Good evening guys, welcome back to Front End Hero. This evening we're going to be animating this icon here with CSS animation. So let's see what we're actually dealing with. So usually I use Adobe Illustrator to create my icons and so on. So this is the entire sprite. Um, 100 pixels in height. Um, so just a small little idea of what we're doing. So at the start, we have a gray lightning rod minus our little brackets. And as we progress, it goes away and then comes into view and rotates, gets bigger. It's bigger, still rotating, gets smaller. And then the border fades in. And then the end product is this guy here. Let's start off by opening our good friend Dreamweaver and adding the container. So I'm just gonna call this Fe front end hero. Save that. Next, we'll open our CSS. And as I said, this is a um, an um, a sprite with a height of one hundred pixels. So height one hundred pixels. The width is also going to be 100 pixels because that's the way I designed it. So let's give it a background of the sprite. Give it a no repeat value. And finally, um, yeah, give the um, position coordinates. So let's see what we've got at the moment. Okay, cool. So let me just show you right here. Okay, so here's the sprite as a PNG, transparent PNG. And if we navigate, navigate, navigate. Okay, cool. This took me um, quite a long time to make and I won't be um, reproducing it in this tutorial, but um, it's just to give you an idea. It's very, very basic, a very basic little animation. Um, and it's actually the first time I've really um, played around with it, the CSS animation properties. So, um, yeah, it's quite cool. So, uh, let me see, pop back in here. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. So 100 pixels. And if we inspect the element, there we go, 100 pixels. Looks great. So next up, we want to give it a cursor of pointer. So the user knows it's interactive. Great, okay. Next up is the fun parts. We're going to be using keyframes to, where is it? Uh, we're gonna be using keyframes to uh, transition from left to right and with keyframes we need to give it a name so we're just going to call it fe logo and here is where we add our magic so from background position
background position zero, which is left two background position. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So let's have a peek at this PNG file. Okay, so if we actually inspect this guy with the get info uh, panel, we see um, 100 pixels in height. So the width of this sprite is 6,040 pixels. Now, what we want to do is, so the end position would be 6,000 and 40 pixels or would it see the last frame the very end of this png file is 6040 pixels but if we finish it there it's going to be blank it's going to be past the sprite so what we want to do is take 100 pixels off so we give it five zero 40. So instead of 6,040, we give it oh, 5,940 pixels. And because it is going right to left, we add a subtraction. We add a minus. Um, okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, next up, we want to add this um, Fe logo keyframe to a state so fe will give it a class of active and we'll add in our animation css properties okay so the first thing we add is the name of the animation which is fe logo we give it a duration of 800 milliseconds. So just under, just under a second. Now, this is where it gets quite interesting. So we give it a steps function. Now, if I actually went back in here and counted these steps, there would be 61. So minus the, the last frame, we add in 60 for, we add in 60 steps if you add in 61 frame 61 steps it will go wonky it will just it won't work as expected or should i say kind of as expected so we add 60 steps in and for the last property we add is forwards there's a few different options you can add backwards forwards and both what we want here is forwards and it's a bit oddly named in my opinion but what this will do when the animation is finished it will end on the last keyframe which is 5940 pixels in the fe logo keyframes part so in the very last keyframe it will just stop which is what we want. We don't want it to go back to the beginning. So we use forwards. So this looks pretty good. Um, now we want to add this class, this active class to fe, maybe when we click it. So we click the icon and we want it to animate. So we pop into our jQuery and we add our jQuery magic. So fe dot click
add the class. Add the class of That looks okay, I think. Now, let's see it in action. Okay, so we hover and we click. Great, first time. So that just gives you an idea how to um, create your own animations. So this is the, I stole this idea from Twitter when they first brought out their own animation of their favorite button. And that actually looks pretty goddamn good. Just a little A-side, um, if you're using a Retina device or you like the icon animation to display well on Retina devices, what you can do is pop back into your CSS and half the width and height of your logo. So, 100 pixels becomes 50 pixels. And let's just see what that looks like at the moment. Okay, it's working as intended. So if we inspect this element, it's become 50 pixels by 50 pixels, but the background image is larger, so you're only, it's getting clipped, you're only seeing a portion of it. So what we want to do is pop back into our VEC container and give it a background size. Of cover. Yeah, great. So this is, there's no jagged edges and this is looking quite, quite sharp. But if we try and animate the icon now, yeah, it doesn't really work. I mean, it does, but it pops back out again and yeah. So it's out of sync, basically. So if we bring this Fe logo down um, by 50%, we need to play around with the animation too. So in, there, in our keyframes area, instead of 5,940 pixels, we have this, which is 2,970 pixels. I swear there's no calculator around. Yeah, right, my maths suck. Okay, so let's see what that looks like now. Perfect. So just a little tip there anyway, in case you're using Retina or you want to target Retina devices. It's quite smooth because I spent quite a bit of time, as I said, creating this, um, this sprite. So if we actually zoom in, Yeah, it, um, the subtle changes, they're quite incremental. You could easily just create this and, and make this a lot bigger and cut your spray in half, but the fluid animation, you need more frames to make it look smooth, so yeah. Now, so that's basically it. Um, yeah, <laughs> so have fun with it. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and um, this channel is quite new um, so I'm trying to get a few more followers and grow the grow the channel and things like that so if you do I'd be very much indebted to you thank you so much and see you in the next video bye